So it's your wild and crazy kid, your queen Nora G, and I'm back. Right now, where for this vlog, I'm gonna split it up in two parts. It's gonna be a whole topic, but it's gonna be divided into two parts. It's about relationship for one, that's the topic. Relationships. But we're gonna talk about communication skills and also religion. Why is it so hard to talk about religion in a relationship? Is it just forbidden or is it, you know, just totally avoided all the way around? Okay, communication skills. When you're in a relationship, it's always good to be able to com communicate. Like, if you're going to be involved with someone, don't just sit there quiet. You know, be able to communicate, be able to tell this person what you like, what you don't like, you know, your history or your future goals, or, you know, let them know what your mindset is, you know, what kind of books you like to read, you know, what you think about political things, or how you feel about what's going on in today's society, or, you know, something like that, something that you can share and, you know, branch your mind out with. It's, it's not all, a, it shouldn't all be about sex or, you know going out to eat or something like that you know i'm trying to find the right way to work you know the word this because i don't want to be rude to some people i don't want certain individuals to be offended but yeah you got to be able to communicate you got to feel comfortable talking around your mate or whoever you're in a relationship with you got to feel comfortable with yourself enough to be able to open your mouth and speak um, don't be so shy or stubborn towards whoever you're dealing with, you know. If you feel they won't be able to accept your thoughts or how you feel about certain situations or things, then that's fine. That's cool. You're going to have a debate regardless, you know. It may be something you both agree on. It may be something you feel different about. But, you know, communicate. Share your thoughts. Don't just sit there and waste your, your precious time on a relationship just looking at each other like, I wonder if he's going to say something first. Maybe I should say something first. No, don't, don't be like that because, you know, from a man's, from, well, from, you know, from men, let me just say that. I'm not going to say a man's point of view, but I spoke with different men and, you know, they don't like that. You know, they like, all she do is just sit there, you know, or shout don't talk about nothing, man, you know, something like that. And that'll, that'll kind of push them away because, you know, they feel like they got to initiate everything. But um, part two, there's not really much you can say about communication skills. Just just communi communicate, people. Just communicate, communicate, communicate. The same way you feel like you need trust in your relationship, you need communication also. Because how you going to know what offends somebody if you don't tell them how somebody gonna know what hurts your feelings if you don't tell them how somebody gonna know how you feel about um a, a situation that happened on the news and they bragging about it you know they feel different towards it and you are you, you know you getting red and you know you getting heated but they don't know that you don't like it because you never spoke on it so communicate people communicate communicate so they know what you like what you don't like you know what makes you happy, what makes you smile, what makes you frown. So, that's what I have to say about that. Religion, um, I think I'm going to have to go deep into that. So, I may, I may just do that separately. But it's going to be back. It's going to be right after this video also. Because that, that's, a, that's a deep topic. But, communicate people. Men and women, ladies and gents, communicate what you make. If you don't like something, just speak on it. Don't hold it in. Don't drag it along because it'll get worse throughout the relationship, situation, however you want to put it. So just speak on it. Don't hold it in. It's your girl, Nora G. Your wild and crazy kid. I will be back with another one.